Hey, what is up you guys? Laser Videos here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a durability test comparison on these two Dollar Tree calculators. I'm going to be recording in slow motion with my iPhone 6 and I'm going to be recording another angle with my Stylo 2. Alright, I'm now recording on the Stylo 2. This calculator did not come with a case, so this one's going to do two normal drop tests. Waist height on the back in 3, 2, 1. I forgot to mention that they both work. So 0 minus 4444444 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 to get the negative. Memory plus, and then times 20. There we go, we've got all of the pixels. So from the first backdrop, it's scuffed a little bit on the corners, but not really too bad. So let's do a corner drop from waist height in 3, 2, 1. Okay, you've got a little bit of scuffing on that corner. Other than that, it is totally fine. Still works. Face drop from waist height in 3, 2, 1. As you can see, it is still functional. I don't even notice any scuffs because the buttons probably protected it quite well. Okay, and now chest height on the back in three, two, one. I can see it's scratched. I don't know if that's a crack or a scratch on the plastic. I'm gonna safely assume it's a scratch. It's not too bad. A corner drop from chest height in three, two, one. You can see where its initial impact was on that corner. A face down from chest height in three, two, one. And it's still good. I'm not gonna go through the effort of filling in every, fi every pixel. I'm just gonna do that. So backdrop from waist height in three, two, one, with a case, by the way. So the case scuffed a little bit. It's really hardly noticeable and it still works. The case isn't going to protect it at all, but let's do this anyway. Three, two, this is waist high, by the way. Three, two, one. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's scuffed massively. So it did land on that corner. Let's move on now. Face down with a case, waist height, in three, two, one. And it survived. Okay. Backdrop from chest height with a case, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. So that had a forceful impact and it shattered the screen. But let's move on anyway just because. Corner drop from chest height in three, two, one. There's a few more scuffs. Just a little bit more scuffed up, but not too bad. Oh, the case does have damage this time. That's pretty bad, actually. Face drop from chest height with the case on in three, two, one. Oh gosh. In three, two, one. Not too shabby. Again, scuffs. It's not really gonna be anything major. All right, side drop from waist height, three, two, one. Face drop from waist height in three, two, one. And it's still good. Now from chest height, back drop in three, two, one. Oh, that time this one cracked, the screen's glitching out. 
So it looks like Dollar Tree calculators like to break from backdrops. How nice. I can assure you guys that this case will not help your calculator much. This calculator broke sooner. They both show about the same amount of scuffs on their corners. This one a little bit less because, you know, the case protected it from scuffs. This one's pretty damn scuffed up. And we'll see which one breaks. I didn't throw them that far, like that high. So neither of them broke. Ooh, you can see where it landed. Ouch, it's so damaged. Oh, wow. Okay, so I like barely threw it and oh, never mind, it's working again. So let's just see how many drops it survives until I can't get it to work anymore. One drop. There's another drop. It's off. Will it work again? Let's find out. It's really hard to get these things to do anything. So what was that, two drops? That was like two drops. Well, let's just keep going until, you know, it might turn back on randomly. Then, right. I spun it. I threw that pretty high. See what I'm talking about? Oh, see, this is why I didn't want to throw them. They just break apart too easily. At least this one's held together by little clips, which is nice. That landed directly on the face and nothing happened. Let's throw it on these rocks. I'm throwing it face first on these rocks. Nothing's happening. So the one time I broke it from the backdrop was the only time. It scratched a bunch. Jeez. Finally, I finally cracked the screen slightly more. And I also cracked the side. This thing is destroyed. As you can see, there's still power going to the LCD. Drop number one, let's go into the sun. All right, drop number one. Drop number two. Golden. Still good. Still good. Still good, it hit the top there as you can see. And still good. Let's see if we can crack it more now from a spin backdrop. Nothing happened, still good. Tough calculator. Throwing. It shattered more. You can see the degrees sign, still there. Still on. And it's dead. Probably just the battery loose. Oh, it was the battery loose. Oh my God. Let's break this one first. Oh gosh. There's the processor. Yep, that's it for that thing. Cool.
That's a huge mess. It's the thing I don't like about destroying Dollar Tree things is the plastic just makes a massive mess. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of a cruddy video, but content! Yay!